Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to Voxel Tycoon Charlestown. Now, um, I've uh, uh, completely, you know, forgotten what I said we were going to be doing this time last time. I don't think I had ha had anything specific. We just got a bunch of uh, industries online and just, uh, you know, we got uh, stone production operating. Now, uh, it occurs to me that what I want to do is get uh, iron smelting going and that um, realistically uh, is going to need a relatively large area to set up uh, and I'm going to want a relatively flat area which means I'm going to end up doing a bunch of terraforming uh, or landscaping right now I'm just uh, looking here where I want to put it and I think probably around here maybe no yeah that might have the most uh, flattenable space it does increase the distance I have to bring the iron, though. No, it's just flattening this out would be bloody expensive. So, uh, yeah, I probably won't be doing that. You know, just to um, uh, just to uh, show. Uh, so, if we level it to the level of the road here, it would just no. We just go through here, uh, starting here. So that's a quarter, or, or so just, okay, so we'd need uh, one and a half mil just to get uh, that amount flattened out. And then uh, I'd want to bring it down, I think, to the sea level level, um, to the water level, uh, and, you know, just so that uh, it's nice and flat you know I have this thing about nice and flat you see uh, I could just throw up some sort of ad hoc factory operation but that doesn't feel like the right thing to do um, well let's uh, let's just see if I were to flatten it out here yeah it's gonna be quite expensive but Uh, hmm. Alternatively, I could put it in here, which might be better, because uh, I could flat. Yeah, I could flatten a lot more for a lot less. Uh, yeah, we don't have enough money to do that. So I'll, I'll actually start flattening this out. I'm going to anchor it in this corner here. Uh, the reason I'm going to do that is I know that these roads are on the grid. And uh, yeah, that's going to... That's going to allow me to... Uh, to do quite a bit... Uh, quite a bit more uh, without... Uh, interfering with the actual grid. Now what I need here is I need a drop-off point for coal and a drop-off point for iron and then uh, I'm gonna need a warehouse for each and then yeah and then I'm gonna need a pickup point for iron bars and then from the iron bars I'm going to need to uh, produce other uh, iron goods. Uh, now I'm thinking I could just put it all on this level. That would be fine. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Uh, that's going to ultimately mean I need to lower this road. Well, I'm going to up the tempo here. 
and we'll get money coming in a bit faster. Uh, right. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to drop that all the way down. Now, I'm going to do that because of the way I'm going to uh, to build the uh, the rail operations. Uh, because I'm going to run the rail operations in a uh, viaduct that's uh, three voxels above the uh, roads. Uh, and that'll work better if this stuff here is all down at water level. Uh, now, of course, you don't need to do this in your game. I'm just doing it also because, well, you know, something to do. Right, okay, so there's that. So that's dropped it uh, how far? Two. Right, okay. Now I'm going to need to come a little bit further over, I think. Um, now I need to get the, the road sorted first. Um, right. So I'm not so much concerned about the uh, road connection here because I'm going to bring the connections in this way, but uh, I do still need to drop this road. Okay, so I'm going to pause this. No, I'm going to unpause this. Now I'm going to pause it. Okay. Uh, Kill this. To here. Now let's see if I can. Uh, where is it? It's here. Can, uh, no, I want level. Okay. So. Okay. I was able to level that. Now I'll put the road back. Yep. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to have to unpause this briefly, I think. Uh, yeah, I can borrow enough. Okay. Uh, I need to do that. And this, not enough money. Okay, that. Now, will this connect? It will. Okay, good. Uh, unpause. Okay, so now. I can work on the uh, drop-off points. So we'll have one, two drop-off points. Why does it do that? Okay, well, we'll duplicate that one, then we'll remove that one, release the ninja. 
Like seriously, it should not wreck a vehicle just because you build something as the vehicle is passing. And we need a pickup point. Okay. So this, we're going to call this Ironworks Coal Drop-Off. That's so I can keep things straight. This is going to be Ironworks Iron Drop-Off. And this is going to be Ironworks... Uh, bar pickup. Okay. Now, I need to do my usual thing here. One, two, three. Okay, yep. Yeah. Now, I'm going to need uh, warehouses. Right. Okay, so I'm going to put two for each. One, two, two. Okay, I'm going to do that and that. Okay. So this is going to be coal, so is that, that's iron, so is that, and this is going to be iron bar. Okay, I probably only need one warehouse each there, but, you know, why not have two? Uh, right, uh, flatten, we need to do more flattening. Yeah, we're going to, because over here is going to be where the, uh, the operations are. Uh, right. What? Okay, so we're going to need to go a fair distance here, flattening. Okay, let's go in here. No. Let's go in here. Uh, borrow all the money. Okay. Uh, now, uh, level. How far can we go with that? Well, we can go a fair distance. I think that's far enough. Okay, what's this got to complain about? Ah. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need uh, coal going in and iron going in, but we need a lot more iron than coal for the recipe. So, uh, right. Well, I'm going to need an alloy smelter. Now we'll, we'll, we'll put the smelting over way over here. One. Yeah, four of them will do for now. Uh, right. Now we need conveyors and we'll do this, this, uh, this, and uh, yeah. Okay, now uh, we need to remove these. So that's a, a little trick for getting rid of the uh, conveyor stubs on uh, factory things. This will let us do some uh, 
a slightly more um, compact uh, operations. Now, uh, I need to go in here and I'm going to need to drop this. Okay. The coal is going to come in this side. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, uh, conveyors. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have uh, conveyors. I'm going to do this as a cascade in. Uh, this is going to be the iron coming in on this side. Uh, like this. And like this. And then uh, we have an iron. No. Iron coming in that way. So I'll need a connector coming out of here. Actually, I'm going to uh, do I need a, another uh, do I need to do that? No, I probably don't. So I can remove that one. Right. Uh, okay, so now we come out of here, uh, we come up, yeah, we'll come up like this, yeah, and that one can come up here. That way we can take uh, product from both warehouses, right? Uh, now, I need to also... Uh, right, go in here. I'm going to need to drop this. Yeah, like that. You know what? I'm going to drop it the whole way. Yeah, just like that. And then I need a connector. Uh, right. Aha, I see. I need to do a little bit more there. Uh, right, so we uh, flatten this out. And we need a connector here as well. Right. Uh, and then this can go up here, and then we can come over here. Uh, and this, close that. Uh, right, you can come down here. Get close enough so we can see something. Uh, you can come down here like that. Uh, okay. Now, we can do this. And if we tunnel it and... Uh, do this. Yep. Okay. Good. Ah, I need to um, write. Uh, do this here too. Okay. Uh, conveyors. Right. You come through here. Tunnel. Level it. Good. Connect. Right. Now, we need to bring the uh, product out. And I'm going to cascade this again. Okay like that and then that's going to have to come in right connector like that ok 
Okay, you connect there. You connect there. There we go. Now we need to change all the... Oh, right. I need to change this to the correct recipe. Right. And I need to make sure everything's going the right way. Those need to go in. That needs to go that way. That's out. That's out. Out. In, in, in. In, in, in. That should be in. That should be in. That needs to go that way. Yep. Okay, I think the uh, conveyors are all going in the right direction now. Uh, good. Okay. Now what we need to do is get coal uh, being delivered, uh, which we can do from here. Right, so we'll buy. Um, what's that one carry? Nope. Uh, What's that one carry? No, it's all the same. Uh, I think it's this one we need. Uh, coal, we'll buy one now. Uh, we'll add a full load here. And a full unload here. Make a route. Yep. Um, right. Okay, well, we'll release the ninjas there. Now, we'll go up here to the iron production operation. Uh, and we'll do the same here. Iron, buy, uh, full load here. And full unload here, right? Make a route. And one, two, three. I think that's enough of those. Okay, release those ninjas. Right now. What we also need to do up here, I'm pretty sure, is uh, chuck in a couple more of these. Right. Uh, and I think I can also 
chuck in a warehouse here. Right there. Um, iron. Right. Okay, so that should uh, that should allow that uh, operation to keep up. Now, you can see we've got coal uh, getting into the uh, system here. Uh, ultimately, we'll need to uh, run rail to bring this in, but for the moment, we can keep this uh, fed with trucks. So ultimately, uh, once the uh, once the uh, coal and iron uh, catches up, uh, the conveyors will also act as a storage. Uh, so we'll have quite a bit of uh, input uh, stored up in here. Uh, see here uh, this acts as uh, input storage as well uh, anyway i'm going to crank the uh, the speed here and now you can see we've got iron coming in and now we've got iron bars coming out And if we put the, uh, so uh, yeah, so this will uh, fill up fairly quickly. So I'm going to let it get uh, uh, filled in. And uh, once, once it's done that, uh, we can start uh, actually delivering uh, iron bars somewhere. And uh, that will start bringing us uh, slightly better uh, income. Yeah, so the output warehouses are a third full. Uh, the coal conveyors have uh, fully loaded. So now those warehouses will fill up. And when they do, the coal trucks will just sit there and wait until the uh, contents is needed. Right. Um, okay, so if we go up here, we see the uh, coal warehouses are filling up. And uh, yeah. So this is our basically uh, our uh, initial uh, smelting operation. Now, ultimately, we're going to be delivering a lot more iron uh, to this uh, because we'll be uh, taking the iron bars out and uh, smelting them to steel uh, although I think I might uh, make a separate iron smelting operation to run the steel mill uh, but we'll also be uh, taking iron bars out and uh, turning them into uh, plate and uh, parts um, you know like gears and plates right and that will um, that will keep this uh, operation fairly um, heavily engaged. Okay, so we're uh, the next big batch of uh, iron delivery should uh, fill those warehouses. These ones are getting there. Yep. Yeah, so those are full now. So this conveyor will start backing up. 
and then uh, this one will back up and then these ones will fill. Right, so I'm going to let this run until that happens. Then once it does, I'll, uh, what's this one complaining about? Um, let's uh, keep that business open uh, as it'll give us somewhere to deliver the uh, iron bars that we've, uh, we've been making. Okay, yeah, so that's just about to, uh, this here's about to finish uh, backing up, filling up. I think this is roughly equivalent to like another warehouse, <laughs> or half of a warehouse or something like that. Um, right, so ultimately we'll end up, uh, I'll probably end up changing the way I've got these warehouses structured. Probably only need the one for coal. Okay, yeah, so um, these ones, yeah, so it's starting to fill in now. Yeah, there we go. So the input's now uh, backing up, uh, which is what we want. See, here's our coal trucks. They're just waiting. Okay, so um, let's uh, get this up uh, and then we'll go over here. It was where? Over here, right? In Salem. Uh, right. Where is it? It's over here. Uh, Salem South. No. Okay, so... Um, no. Remove that. Uh, go in here. Uh, put one of these. Yep. Okay. Oh yes, the unprofitable thing. Uh, right. Um, so we're going to buy and we need for iron bar. Uh, okay, so iron iron bar. Yes. We'll buy a truck. Now uh, full load um here uh, yep yeah. and then way over here uh, full unload here oh we finished roads too okay so we'll uh, uh, we made a made a, a line uh, right uh, so now, um, now it's a long distance, so we'll make six of these. Uh, we'll release the ninjas on that one. And then... Uh, 
way over here. Okay. Okay, so the uh, input on the iron side is uh, uh, catching up. Uh, we're going to prevent that business from closing because we just set up to deliver. Uh, right. Okay, so... Uh, we'll go... Uh, Okay, where is the... Okay, good. There we go. Okay, uh, our deliveries are uh, started. That should keep the, uh, the business happy. Now, uh, let's go back over here to the... Uh, we can drop the uh, tempo back down. Now, let's go back over here. Uh, what were we roads to? Right, so we'll start a new research. Um, no. We have iron bar now, so we can do those. But let's, um, let's do rails too. Yep. Okay, so we'll do rails to get that underway. And over here, uh, we've got uh, Oh, right, it's not uh, Right, it's still got to produce every time it picks up, right? Uh, okay, so let's up-tempo this and just see. I might need a couple more trucks on that line to catch it, to keep it uh, caught up. Uh, maybe not. Um, no, maybe not. Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah, I might. Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I'll I'll put a couple more on there. Um, I can always remove a couple once they back out on back up out onto the road, but I want to get the uh, the throughput uh, you know somewhat balanced there. But I think the uh, pickups for the uh, iron bar are going to keep it uh, from backing up. Okay, yeah, now it's uh, now it's filling in. I think I think I can have six or seven uh, of these size trucks sitting here um, before they 
uh, back up onto the main road. Uh, okay, we're up to 84. Yeah, it's uh, just about caught up. Okay, yeah, that's uh, yeah. Okay, it's uh, it's definitely caught up. Good. Now I just want to watch it and see uh, how how much the uh, trucks back up. Yeah, I think it looks like it's fairly balanced. Um, of course, uh, the problem with launching uh, trucks all at once is you get them operating in sort of like phalanxes there. And uh, okay, so that's four of them. Five, six. Oh, yeah, I think I can get uh, pretty much, I think all of them can uh, park there. Um, right, anyway, uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, right. Uh, okay, so the, the iron bar business is uh, doing okay. Uh, so there, there, there you go. That's the uh, first uh, 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 production operation going, and that will uh, uh, that will uh, ultimately. I'm probably going to end up with four or uh, eight uh, smelters here, or not, uh, uh, or four, four or eight uh, pairs of these. So. Uh, eight eight here and then another eight here or something like that uh, i'm not completely sure uh, it'll depend on uh, on what else i get uh, building here and the demand for iron bars anyway uh you know that's uh, i think uh, as much as there's time for uh, this time around so i'm going to end the part here uh, and you'll note that uh, that time running on max speed uh, gave us enough to repay the loan, uh, which I have just done. Now, what's the... Uh, okay, we're up to 7.1 mil on uh, uh, company value, so you'll be able to upgrade that again probably uh, next time around. Uh, close that. Okay, uh, so that's all for this time. Uh, so I guess uh, stay healthy, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, and I'll be back again next week with another episode.